I am Pradeep Kumar uh, from VAT University Chennai campus. So here I am going to give you a, a small talk on, on what is Big Blue button and how it is uh, integrated with the Moodle and uh, through Moodle how can you enable a Big Blue button session for the students. Uh, then um, how to uh, share that corresponding video clips to the students. So a simple uh, uh, how to uh, tutorial. So I am just going to explain you uh, with the uh, step by step method for uh, creating a session on big blue button. Thank you. Hi friends. Uh, this is a front page of uh, Moodle screen. So uh, if you see Moodle uh, deployed on a cloud or a Moodle deployed on a local local private server or any public cloud where you have moodlecloud.com where they host Moodle the username password screen will be the same same like this so uh, nominally in uh, some universities they would have given in a different um, look and feel but once you have the username and password for you so you can log in with the username and password actually this Moodle deploy, uh, deployment uh, belonging to VAT University Chennai campus and um, so I am uh, maintaining this uh, software in the campus and it has been uh, um, integrated with the big blue button a virtual classroom software uh, wherein uh, the students and the faculty members can be elsewhere and they can have a classroom session uh, with the help of the technological tool so since i have uh, handled uh, this subject a uh, couple of semesters back so what i do is i do go inside the subject uh, inside this course and uh, this is the moodle uh, course page so we'll be having the dashboard and uh, the course administration if you want to do something on the course administration and these are the uh, list of courses uh, list of information or the materials provided by various faculty members so this subject has been handled by more than five faculty members i am one among them so now what i am going to do is i am just going to create a virtual classroom session wherein uh, the students can able to participate along with the faculty outside the class hours or sometime inside the class hours or inside the classrooms uh, laboratories so wherever we can we can uh, plan for a big blue button session so now i make this turn editing on to make this page editable and once i make this on so you can see there are some add an activity or resource so according to the dates you can create click an activity so since the date is already over so since it's only for a recording session what i do is i just create an activity here so we have activities mean that we are giving to the students and the student in turn they have to uh, submit the activity Resources mean we want to share something to the students so that uh, the students will get benefited or get help, get the help from the faculty member. So we can see uh, big blue button BN there is an option here and uh, at the end we have recordings BN. So we can have any number of big blue, to big blue button sessions or the virtual classroom sessions and those sessions can be shown to the students for after use. That means after during the lecture or if any student is absent, they can able to see these recordings uh, by clicking the screen. So now what we do is first I will create a big blue button session add. So now first thing is I need to uh, create a virtual classroom name. So let me say give the classroom name as uh, uh, introduction to CAN protocol. So let me give a simple topic introduction CAN protocol and there is a button called as uh, send notification. So if you send a notification all the students enrolled in this co in this course will be getting a email say stating that a session is going to happen on the topic introduction to can protocol so please be uh, please ensure that um, this tick is uh, this box is being selected only when you have the complete information about your session okay now when, when you click show more you have the description of this uh, information so as of now what i do is i'll just click the same description and uh, wait for the moderator so this is something is uh, different uh, actually in inside a classroom when there are 60 students and with a faculty member uh, assuming that only when a faculty member enters the classroom only after that the students have to enter if such is the case then uh, the student have to wait outside the classroom uh, before a faculty member enters a classroom similarly here uh, this is an online session wherein uh, who have who have who have to come first that is the, that is what the question here whether a faculty has to come only then the students join or the students they come first and then wait for the uh, and then the teacher joins and the session can happen but here this is what the uh, tick box here whether you can wait for the moderator mean the moderator is usually a faculty member whether he can wait for the moderator or the students can come inside and then the moderator joins here so it depends on uh, what basis so uh, let me take this wait for the moderator 
and uh, activate tagging interface so this is something new so you can uh, tag the particular course materials uh, it, it comes on which tag so that when uh, any other student in this uh, tool when they want to see this they can able to see the tagging and participants so who are all the participants and what is their role in this so add participant by default all the users are enrolled as viewers viewers mean the students are enrolled as viewers and the moderator is T.S. Pradeep Kumar so that is me so I am I being the moderator because I am the teacher here and uh, the students are the viewers but you can able to make a student also moderator suppose a student want to give a seminar topic in which the other uh, other students in this class attend his topics and uh, you can make a student also a moderator not only that uh, if I want to uh, give a lecture on for the slow learner that means that there are some 10 uh, slow learners if you want to make the give them a lecture on slow learners then what I do is I can uh, select the users here and all the users of this classroom will be shown here so if uh, the, there are 300 students have registered in this course then all the 300 names will be listed out here so you can select the name of the um, students list and then click add so for example if you want to select this student so I can click it add so now this student have enrolled as viewer so if you want to make him as a moderator I can make him as a moderator so like this so in this case you can delete this all users enrolled so uh, this way I can able to uh, select the users for my course okay schedule for this session this is very important so what time we are going to plan for the schedule so i click enable in both these options so from which time to which time i'm going to schedule so assume the time the date and now is 14 june and the time is 2 8 so 14 so 14 5 2 and uh, 15 let me say I'll, I'll take the class for one hour okay so so opening time is 14 june and uh, closing time is 14 june the time is 3 o'clock and in the restriction access suppose uh, here there are five faculty members along with me is teaching the subject suppose if i want to conduct classes only for my own students not for the remaining uh, four class students then i will select group here since this is the moodle i already uh, grouped uh, each and every faculty uh, based on the category of the faculty so i know who are all my students so i have my own list of students let's say pradeep kumar ts here so my own students will be seeing only my own students can able to attend this session so the remaining students you need not bother about them and uh, if the remaining students don't want to see such an activity is happening you can uh, disable hide this icon so if you hide this icon nobody other than my users my my students will be able to see this such an activity is happening if you open this they cannot part the other students cannot participate participate in this activity but they can able to see uh, such an activity is happening in this particular faculty members class okay so as of now since it is for testing purpose so i will just remove this and save and return to course so now uh, the video lecture topic is been saved here now if you click send notification the notification will be sent to all the students that uh, today there will be a uh, session okay but i didn't send it notification because this course is already over so i don't want to disturb the students and the notification will be sent only through to the email because mobile numbers are not covered here and we, even we need a gsm modem for this mobile number so uh, we use only email uh, communication for this notification okay so now when we when i click this so there is a option called as joint session and as of now there are no recordings so this is my own session so what i do is i'll just click joint session so when i click the join session here a new window will be open so in the new window uh, the big blue button uh, window will be opened separately uh, now here there is a uh, good advantage of big blue button now, what is the advantage is suppose in the same timing there are three faculty members with their own 360 set of students if they want to conduct a session uh, each session will not be overwrite I mean each session will not um, have any collapse between that so that means that every one individual faculty member they have their own session with the same timing but the server is maintained as only one so that is what the greatest advantage that Moodle has that also be the big blue button has so being the first time uh, if you are starting the session so you check your microphone whether it is working or not so the microphone access will be in either two things one is webrtc there is one protocol another is flash so by default webrtc if it is not working then automatically it will switch to flash as well actually now it is using the flash here so now whenever i am talking the you can see the microphone the signaling gain the gain is improving a lot and uh, whenever you see test to speakers so you get a sound that indicates that uh, the session is working fine okay now we can cancel it so now there are two one two three four there are totally four windows so these four windows will form a session for the student also 
so now these are the users as of now i am the only user joined because uh, this is only for testing version but when you see your number of students all your students will be enrolled here directly so once they click and join similar kind of the screen you see every students will also see the same kind of screen so they also come and join this session so once they join the session so you can see all their uh, name list will be coming on one, one after the other and web camera so if you want to share the web camera so there's an option here so you can ask your students also to share the web camera so you can see this so i just share my web camera over here so this is my uh, sharing of web camera so just close this now and uh, there's a uh, microphone and desktop sharing suppose you want to demonstrate a piece of software how it is working so how to uh, use this software so you can share your desktop but this desktop uh, there was some issue in uh, uh, google chrome and uh, there because it is work with the java plugin so there's a uh, minor issues in some browser so better it is recommended to use firefox for this uh, of, uh, operations you can see that uh, it's a recording uh, recording screen so once you click this recording it will ask you for starting start recording the session you click it yes so that means now uh, it started recording so that means whatever we uh, we designed the lecture whatever we discuss in the class everything will be recorded so now this window over this window over and now the center window which is the main preparation window so upload your presentation here so as of now this presentation supports only uh, pdf alone so there is no ppt or odp odf or nothing will be supported only pdf and this also includes some uh, whiteboards so if you want to uh, use the blank slate for whiteboards so if you want to have a lecture on whiteboards you can click only this thing so if you want to maximize the screen you can maximize this way right and if you want to minimize you can use this so you can have a entire uh, whiteboard screen here and here uh, you can have your whiteboard so you can uh, solve using this and you can able to write you can able to draw you can scribble and clear the notifications you can change your color so whatever you like you can able to do everything in this window and this window is a chatting window so if you want to say chatting window hello students so i just give hello students this will be shown to all the students but when you want to chat with some particular students i want to ask some question with a particular student wherein the other student should not know so they can use this chat window here for the default set of students i mean uh, a particular student now in the bottom right here we have layout so during a presentation so we have our own presentation like this but i want to have a lecture as a lecture presentation that mean only the lecture will be given main focus whereas the other parts uh, the like a web camera chatting window i don't want to uh, make the students to see other uh, other things so if you want to make this so click lecture and then uh, apply current layout to all viewers you can see this at the bottom right so click this so that all the students will be getting this kind of screen so they cannot see other uh, web camera or whatever they cannot able to see so that means we can lock the view for the students suppose if you want to see uh, a lecture assistant this is what lecture assistant so the presentation will be small but the chatting and the other window will be uh, huge and if you want to see presentation meeting so only presentation will be given the main focus web camera meeting so even you can have a web camera meeting also so if you are share the web camera so you can able to see the web camera here now we again i will uh, share it again so this is the web camera meeting so the wherein uh, the web camera web camera is been shared okay so now the final thing one video chat so if you want to have only video chat only video chat will be available so you can able to conduct interviews offline interviews online interviews all these things you can able to conduct through this window and finally if you want default layout like we seen the first layout so you can have this default layout okay so now uh, i just come to the front screen here now i can upload my pdf file here so click this select file so i can upload only Mm, PDF over here. Mm, I'll select some PDF file. And I'll go with some file NS3 tutorial and upload. So once the file is uploaded, you will get a uh, page will be here. So totally there are one twenty zero. It's not a, a slide actually. It is a, a word file. So I have the complete word file over here. So this is the complete word file. So I can just go between pages. So I can go between the various number of pages. So let's say if I if I want to let's say that's a diagram here over here anywhere. suppose i want to scribble in between so i want to uh, showcase something uh, just to be scribbled so for example uh, i can zoom it also 
so i can zoom in so let's say if i want to show my student that uh, these areas are very important and this area this is not so important so if you want to show i can able to quibble within my document also so this way i can able to um, show my students uh, uh, show my listeners that uh, i can able to scribble uh, so in all these slides this will be reflected over here so this is how i can able to uh, uh, record my session so if you want to log out you can log out here or you can able to uh, uh, put click the end session also here and now so far we are uh, we are recording so we have don't forget to stop the recording so let me complete my uh, layout here let me complete my session over here so stop so i just wanted to stop the recording so now the recording is stopped so big blue button is been uh, hosted in a separate server and moodle is hosted in a separate server so big blue button will take some time to process the entire uh, video so if you take one hour of video at least uh, the next half an hour it will uh, take to process the video and the video will be shared with the students so the sharing the video also uh, faculty has to initiate a session so let me do that so what can i do is uh, now end the session the session is ended over here and i just come back here to this course and uh, click another activity or resource and go to the resource now so this is a one time activity for a course so click this add and all uh, pretty recordings so what i do is i just uh, created my own recordings here so this is the name of the file again restrict access so if you want to uh, share this file only to your own students you can have the restriction save this so now when you click this it will show you all the recordings so you can able to see i have already recorded uh, uh, two more uh, data i mean the duration is two minutes the first time i recorded and this presentation so maybe i'll show you for example so what kind of presentation i have recorded show you this also can see that recorder with big blue button use mozilla firefox or google chrome to play this recording okay but i am using safari browser so let me wait for some time else you can uh, use this in uh, google chrome or firefox so all your recordings will be placed one by one after the other and then it will be showing you the date and description of the corresponding playback session so that's all for uh, this big blue button so please remember uh, big blue button is a Uh, software application uh, for conducting virtual conferencing virtual classrooms virtual laboratories and uh, yeah, offline online interviews and then uh, a no how session so we can uh, think anything can be possible here but the main advantage here is it is so powerful when compared with the equivalent uh, pi uh, i mean equivalent proprietary versions but it is free and open source so you can use it free of cost as well as you can deploy it on your own server but the moodle also it's again a free and open source and so a powerful learning management system you cannot spend a single penny of it now if you want to uh, have uh, your own suppose uh, i don't want uh, I, i don't have money i don't want to invest uh, more money on this so moodle have uh, their own uh, lesson called as moodle cloud so moodle cloud host with uh, big blue button also you can see this here uh, they are giving a free uh, version so no price is there uh 50 maximum users 200 mb of file upload and uh, always up to date and uh, there is no theme other things but, but if you want to use uh some school with the uh, undio if you want to spend some money so then you can uh, try the other options but this is again a uh, powerful whatever uh, we have it here everything will be there and big blue button also very uh, generous enough to share their own cloud also because big blue button is hosting on uh, some other cloud platform so two of the clouds have been merged here uh, to give you a a uh, seamless experience in the uh, virtual or online learning so thanking you for your uh, listening to this big blue button session so if you have any other queries you can always uh, contact me to my email uh, t s p r a d w e p kumar k u m a r at v i t dot a c dot i n so i'll be uh, putting my email address at the end of this slide thank you